I want to close tonight with some thoughts that I felt compelled to share on this broadcast when I learned from the Daily Mail on a heck of a scoop they got that one-time colleague of mine, Katie Couric, has written a memoir. It is called Going There. It's due to come out next month. There's the cover. Um, and in it, the Daily Mail has discovered that it is none too kind to some of her female colleagues, um, particularly Martha Stewart, to whom she is not very complimentary, and Deborah Norville, who was a colleague of hers on the Today Show, um, and me. I ended up in that book as well. And I have to say I was pretty stunned to find out what Katie wrote. First, I was scared. <laughs> then I was surprised. And I'll tell you why. The Daily Mail um, writes this about Katie's memoir. Couric writes that she gave Ashley Banfield the cold shoulder early in her career because helping her would have been self-sabotage. Let's just be clear here. I was a bit of a peon at MSNBC back in 2000 when I first met Katie Couric, and she was, you know, the queen of television, and, and nobody was better than, than Katie. The Daily Mail uh, went on to, to write this. Um, Couric writes that she was aware that, quote, someone younger and cuter was always around the corner and singles out Banfield as an example. Um, and then there's this excerpt that the Daily Mail printed directly from, from Katie saying this. For a minute there, Ashley Banfield was the next big thing. I'd heard her father was telling anyone who'd listen that she was going to replace me. In that environment, mentorship sometimes feels like self-sabotage. So I want to correct the record here because you went after my dad. Um, it's just not true. Uh, when I was in Afghanistan, um, there were a lot of reports about it being a very dangerous assignment and a New York Post reporter got the home phone number of my father who was near 80 and extremely senile and living in a care home. And they got his landline and they called and said, are you afraid for your daughter? To which he said, yes. And I think NBC should bring her home and give her a desk job like Katie's. That is a far cry from being able to even leave that facility, let alone telling anyone who would listen. So that hurt my feelings deeply, and I hope Ms. Couric corrects the record on that. I also want to say this about Katie Couric. There is no one better who has ever been on morning television than Katie Couric. I looked up to her for years and years and years. I still do. I still believe she is the best person to have ever graced the screen in that venue. I have never been more affected by a television interview than when I saw her at Columbine interviewing a victim and a father of a victim. I literally collapsed in my closet crying while that interview was playing. And yes, I had a television in my closet because it was a dressing room. I was on the floor because of that interview and I remember thinking, I want to be just like her. There's so much that I learned from Katie Couric. And I'll be honest with you, it saddens me that we couldn't collaborate. It saddens me that she didn't want to mentor me. I wasn't that much younger than Katie, quite frankly. I think we could have had a really good working relationship together. I, I wished I'd had that. Um, and quite frankly, I think of mentoring women in this business as one of the best investments. It's not just TV. It's in everything. Forever and ever, back in the early 90s, God, look at that hair. I remember thinking, why do women think there's no room at the top? They all think it's this apex that you're just going to get boinked right off of if anybody dares to climb higher. But the truth is, it is massive. There is a giant space, big flat spot right at the top where we can all lift each other up and help each other out. And it's true what Kennedy once said, that a rising boat a rising tide floats all boats. I have never, ever found that that policy of helping other women younger than me, who might even be in my newsroom and maybe take my job, has ever come back to bite me. Never once. The opposite has happened. I am a better journalist today for all the young women who I worked with, who I gave advice to. It came back to me in spades, and it will come back to you in spades as well. I wish nothing but the best for Katie Couric. She remains my number one female journalist in television morning news of all time. She's a trailblazer. I think other people should look at her and the guts that it took to be spunky and awesome and natural and authentic. And I wish her really well in life.